Well, I wonder if I need a light. Oh my goodness, now he's gonna push that over. Hey, hi, everybody. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna be doing some of these Easter eggs for my new tree I got. It's from Amazon. It was like only $14. But I do need some more eggs, so I'm gonna pour paint on some. And I look forward to this every year. But we can take a look at these. And this is Ollie. Say hi, Ollie. Oh, he's looking at a book. That one I did pour paint. I want some more. This one was actually gold, 24K, and brown. I liked it, though. So anyway, I need some more. This one here has got glass glitter. This one is really pretty too. And there we go. I love this one breaking out of the shell. <laughs> anyway, we will get started. What you see? What? What's out there? <laughs> okay, so I think we're good. As long as I don't keep bumping the table. <laughs> so this is super easy when I do eggs. It's just like any other pour painting or anything. I use Floetrol and I'll use two parts Floetrol, one part paint for eggs just a little thicker so they most likely will not need any water added um except if you're using super super thin paint and the ones that i noticed were be like craft smart which are fine then you don't have to add any water um a medium body paint then yeah a little bit anyway so for the eggs are small i'm just using like one tablespoon of paint and two tablespoons of floetrol and uh, with, for my medium body paint, like Artist Loft, you know, something like that. That's medium body, so I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water. But it's good to have it just a tad bit thicker for eggs and vases and things you're pouring on. And this is Floetrol, if you don't know. Okay? Get quite a bit of white. And then just a tiny bit of black. Because you know you don't need a lot of black. Black goes really far. And I think that was too much. <laughs> so I'm going to add quite a bit of extra white. This time I'm going to pour like that. This should be pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. On the side. Right there. Okay, next one. White. I'm having fun. I'm smiling ear to ear. And the blue. This one? Yeah. See what happens. That's so pretty. 
until I remember they change. Now this one, some white, this little magenta, same way. Two of them are the same way. Whoops, I'm not on that camera. Right. This one. Sorry about that. Mm, looks like a candy cane or something, or candy or something. Really pretty. So you do want to check behind it and underneath. Make sure you're getting it because that side is completely bare. I kind of felt it would be because it's slanted. There. <laughs> there. Let's see. How about some... Blue and dioxazine, or some white and some dioxazine purple. I hope I'm not breathing in the camera. Either. This one's slanted. You better stay put. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh, so pretty. I'll take this one. Make sure it's on there good, yeah. Cover it completely in white. start to drizzle in some areas. Am I in the camera? Yeah. This is really cool method or technique. Then it takes a while. So I'm going to be sitting here going like this, going like that. Okay. gonna be okay this one I'm gonna do cadmium yellow hue quite a bit in the cup and then just a little bit of drizzles of dioxazine purple cadmium yellow hue and a little bit of dioxazine purple Wow, you made some beautiful colors. Wow, that's beautiful. That's so pretty. This one didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna pour some more cadmium because I love that cadmium. Are we on the camera? Yeah. Pull it fast like I did the other one. Because it created pretty colors for some reason. Oh, that purple's not creating it. 
The blue is not creating it as pretty as the purple does for some reason. The purple made it super pretty. But that's beautiful. <laughs> so, okay, that's it. So I'll come back when they are dry and I'll spray them with like a clear varnish. You can use any type of Krylon or any brand's fine as long as it's clear. And then we'll look at them. I like them. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so they're dry now and I sprayed them with the clear uh, gloss. So let's check them out. Let's make sure see if the camera is going to focus with these. There we go. <laughs> Pretty. Oops. That's pretty. Touched it with that one. This one was my favorite. This one didn't turn out quite as planned, but I love the little rings. There you go. The one I swirled, <laughs> which really turned out cool because I dripped like all that paint off and then grabbed that blue and over the top and it actually worked. Gorgeous. I love these. And the little bit of touch of purple in there. On that one. So fun. So I'll put them on my tree. So there we go. That was so much fun. So thank you for watching. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Easter. Okay? Bye-bye now.